there are advances in genomic. Human genes have been mapped out. The chromosomes have been mapped out. And there is more excitement in proteomic. Proteomic is nothing but uh, mapping the proteins as it moves inside the body, the cell transformation under stress. So, so it's very important as the World Noni Research Foundation to put on its research agenda, how would we leverage the advances on genomic and proteomic research to create targeted diagnostics and therapeutics where Noni could be much more useful. Uh, what we are talking about is precision wellness, which is specific to each individual. And the new science of personalized wellness, that's where we should be targeting ourselves. It's a knowledge in the evolution mode. It's a paradigm which would be around uh, the Noni family manufacturing plants here. It would involve quite a lot of co-optation. Yes, sir, thank you. <laughs> it would involve uh, collaboration around both uh, agricultural, non-agricultural health and non-traditional uh, centers. More important, we need to do much more strengthened pharmacological research on Noni in terms of which of the 165 phytochemicals would impact what kind of stresses, what kind of uh, uh, the, the proteomics in the human body, and that's something which we need to look at. Uh, one of the uh, concept of disruptive innovation is business model innovation, and there are three things which Noni family is doing. I want to spend a minute each in that. One is solution shop. You have a solution shop where you could take through your distribution centers your product and ensure that it goes to your network of consumers. You have created a manufacturing plant where there is a value-added processing business model. And, and when, when I was talking to Professor Peter, I realized how he has created a state-of-the-art uh, value-added processing where, where he has looked at how do you not only collect noni in a very hygienic fashion, but also process it in a hygienic manner, uh, both in terms of uh, uh, tissue culture, whereby you can propagate the better known nonis. And, and what I was struck and impressed was the combination of non-traditional and experiential uh, workshops around soul healing, around energy healing, where he invites, Professor Peter invites the world-renowned experts on non-traditional healing and, and allows you to experience various emerging concepts of healing which could be combined along with Noni products. What's, what's impressive is the facilitated networks and, and, and the way the research, cultivation, manufacturing, education, I'm glad uh, Professor Raj Shekhar Pillai is here. Uh, the community colleges, which he was mentioning, I understand that Noni is uh, Noni family is creating one of the uh, the, the community college where uh, you need to create a new professional, a, a trained professional who understands the concept of wellness and propagates it. So, so that's something which is pretty great. And and so so what. Uh, Professor Peter has done is created a facilitated network of multiple activities which will create the disruption in the wellness stuff. I would take only two or three more minutes. I wanted to talk about the value network which is very important for disruptive innovation where we need to recognize that on our own. No single organization can create the entire momentum for wellness. And that's where it's very critical to work together, work together in an open innovation network, allow collaboration within and outside health and wellness industry to create the next generation of innovations. Innovations which could be content in terms of Noni product, innovations in terms of how you spread the entire concept of wellness and product around the globe, innovations in terms of 
induced institutional innovations which will allow